What's up guys? So I've got another video for you today. We are going to be checking out the adventure point shop and how to get adventure points. So this is a question that comes up quite a bit by newer players. How do I get adventure points? What's the best way to get them? Uh, the main things you want to buy with adventure points are some of the untradeable stuff like your barrels, gloves, your torso, some of the unlockables like Draymond staff. Uh, you're going to want a salve amulet. If you lose any of your starter sets, you can get those pieces. If you have uh, just everything you need, then there's some a couple things you can get afterwards, and we'll you know we're gonna add more things over time. But the point is, how do you get these points? So there's multiple different ways. One of the main ways to get them, and the way we're gonna we're gonna you know test out in this video is combat. So uh, anytime you kill a monster based on the combat level of the monster, I guess I just had to look up the exact file. So if the monster is higher than 275 combat it has a chance of dropping, uh, or it actually, I think it only drops three, or, no, <laughs> I'm just looking at the numbers wrong, so, if it's higher than 275, or it's a dragon, then it has a higher chance of dropping, and then if it's, uh, lower than, f or if it's higher than 50, it has a chance of, uh, it has a lower chance of dropping, so, basically, it needs to be higher than 50 combat level. To, to have a chance of getting to get a point from it. So other than combat, there's plenty of ways you can get them. You can get them from Fire Cape. Uh, you can get them from aerial fishing. You can get them from catching implings. A lot of things that would quote unquote uh, constitute you as going on an adventure. So today, what we're going to be testing is the method that you can probably already tell from our gear. We have a full magic setup, and we have blood barrage. Now you can do this at, uh, what is it, 60, 68 magic with blood burst. Honestly, you could do it at smoke burst and just pray melee, but for blood spells, that's, that's what's going to keep us from having to use too much inventory spaces. So, uh, What you're going to do is go to Dungeons, Catacombs of Karend, and then if we look up on our map, you're going to go to this, this way, down, and then this way. These dust devils are what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go kill some dust devils, and I'll... Uh, Record how many points we get each hour, do a couple hours, and we'll sort of see what the average amount of points we can get is. So, here we are at the Dust Devils. If you're wondering why Dust Devils, right? So, the thing about Dust Devils, other than the fact that they're all here in multi, is that they're aggressive. So, you don't really have to do anything. This is a very, very good AFK method. And if you have blood spells and you don't need food or prayer or anything like that, you can actually get some decent loots but uh, that cuts into your AFK time, right? And the main goal, the main thing we want is the adventure points. That's all I'm going to count. I will be looting cash caskets and stuff like that, but the main thing we're focusing on is the adventure points. Okay, so it has been an hour. We have 77 cash caskets, and then uh, you can see a nice chunk of bars as well. If you're an Iron Man, the smithing will definitely help out. Uh, but the big question is adventure points. We are at 1920, so we started off at, uh, I think, 1450, so is that f uh, 470, 470? 470, 470. So about 500 points an hour. That, that, I mean, that gets you a torso and, uh, wait, 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 I think that gets you a torso, right? Because torso is 500 points. Is that still in our chat? Yeah, 500 points. Um, I'm going to do another hour and just see if we get, like, the same results. Okay, so that is going to wrap it up for the final hour. We are at 2320, so if you remember, we were at 1920. We actually got less points in this hour. We got um, 70 less, so we got 400 points in the second hour. So we can pretty much safely say it's about 400 plus points an hour. Uh, we also got better loots this time. We got, well, I guess less uh, bars, but we got more cash caskets, and we did get a full totem and two shards, so that's not bad right there. Uh, I think that's going to do it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is definitely a good way to go. Probably the best way to go. I can't think of anything that would be better in terms of like points per hour. If you're a brand new player and you're just trying to get your first like couple items, your first torso, your first barrels gloves, I would just recommend killing any monster over 50. I, I would just do Slayer. That that's kind of what I've been doing for all of my points other than, you know, obviously this right here. But uh, I just did Slayer and got all my points pretty naturally along the way.